Grip socks are great, and now they're even better with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Better fit, moisture wicking, amazing comfort, and all the extra grip you need. Choose from 10 different colors for just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. The Nike Mercurial Vapor Next Nature. You might have seen Nike posting about them on Instagram, and as we've seen from Nike before, as well as what we're seeing from many different sportswear brands right now, the idea behind the Nike Mercurial Vapor Next Nature is that it's made from recycled materials. More specifically, and to quote Nike, they're made with at least 50% recycled content by weight. Here's the thing, we don't know when these are going to come out, but I do plan on getting a pair and I'm actually pretty excited to try them out. The 3D printed fly print upper looks super interesting. I love the fact that it has a central lacing system with a standard tongue, as well as a more traditional low cut design that kind of brings these back to to the pre flying it days of the Mercurial Vapor series. I actually think these are gonna be really good football boots and according to Nike, it is a little bit of a look into the future of what to expect from the brand as well as the Nike Mercurial series. Nonetheless, the $300 price tag is something that really jumps out at me given the fact that this is an environmentally friendly product. I understand that it's a limited edition release and according to Nike, they have not specified how many pairs they've actually made. So we don't actually know how limited these are, but I do want to raise the question, not necessarily sharing any opinions of my own, but should something that is supposed to benefit the environment punish the consumer in terms of how much it costs. And to give a fairly recent example of Nike kind of doing the same thing, but going in the opposite direction as far as pricing is concerned, is the 2018 Nike GS360, which was actually a release to celebrate the original Nike GS, which kind of first introduced the recycled material, environmentally friendly concept. Those were quite limited and also quite expensive. These, however, limited to 2018 pairs in this colorway, but also available on Nike ID in limited quantities, retailed for 175 bucks, which is significantly less expensive than all of their current top end models available now, as well as at the time of this football boots release, but it's basically a top end pair of football boots also 100% recycled material rather than 50% recycled material on the Vapor Next Nature. An even more recent example of a football boot utilizing recycled materials without burying a premium is the first mile pack from Puma, this being the Ultra 1.3, a football boot made from recycled bottles. And what you're going to find with this is it's pretty much exactly like any other version of the Ultra 1.3 that doesn't utilize recycled materials, but it retails for the exact same $200 price tag. They even did the same with the Future Z as part of this pack. That also raises the question, why doesn't Puma make all of their football boots from recycled materials if the end product ends up being exactly the same and they can retail it for the same price? But that's the discussion for a completely different video. And I guess to play devil's advocate on the price of the Vapor Next Nature as a consumer, and keep in mind, I review football boots. Regardless of the price tag, I'm going to bring them in and share an opinion for you guys. But if I weren't in the position I was in, I would still be willing to pay a premium for something that I deem to be interesting and innovative. In the case of the Air Zoom Ultra, as an example, this football boot retails for $350. It is definitely overpriced in every sense of the word. However, the introduction of a full length zoom unit, the 3D printed upper, there are elements of this football boot that because they are different from anything else, I can justify. And I'll argue as well that the Vapor Next Nature does have a fly print upper. That's something that we technically haven't seen before on a pair of football boots, although this is basically fly print without Nike saying it is. But the point remains, if the whole idea of the Vapor Next Nature is to be friendly for the environment, being made from majority recycled materials, should we as consumers be paying a premium for that? I'm not really here to say what's right or wrong, but I did want to express some observations that I've made in the football boot industry over the years as it relates to recycled materials being used on football boots. And I'm really curious to hear your opinions on this topic down in the comments section. Please leave your input and I look forward to reading what you guys have to say.